for the past 3 months I've been rocking the new Casio tank. And let me tell you, it's a fantastic timepiece. It's got that classic rectangular case just like the Cartier tank. And at the Casio price point, it's an absolute steal. But there is one thing that's been nagging at me throughout my experience. And we talk about this in this episode. Hi everyone, my name is Ed and I collect and review affordable watches. In my last review about this watch, I talked about how every time Casio releases a new homage version of a luxury brand, they are not copying the watch, they are celebrating. And in 2023, they did it again with this Cartier Tank large homage in an obvious very poor version. The watch community has been crickets on this release. It's like Casio dropped a diamond in a haystack. This watch with its clean lines and vintage vibes could have been the next Moon's watch. Just think about it. A timeless design, affordable price tag and that rich history of Casio durability. In my opinion, they had a golden opportunity here to capture a whole new audience and create a modern classic. And it feels like they missed the moonshot on this one. Maybe they didn't market it the right way or maybe they just underestimated the power of a good looking affordable watch. My experience with it for over 90 days has been a love and hate relationship. But why? Considering a watch at around $100 today in 2024 that has a mineral crystal, 50 meters water resistance, cheap leather strap, quartz movement and a seconds hand that doesn't match the overall color code of the dial might be a sign of cutting corners to meet the budget and a watch that will have no future in the industry. At the same time, at the fraction of the Cartier's price, the Casio tank lets you wear a timeless design without breaking the bank. It's a fantastic option for anyone starting their watch collecting journey or just looking for a stylish everyday watch. But is this watch for enthusiasts or just for people that buy their first watch? Is this budget watch suitable for pretentious watch critics and snobs? Let's face it, sometimes the best things in life come with a little quirk. The off-color seconds hand might not be perfect, but it adds a touch of personality and makes your watch unique. Think of it as a conversation starter. People will notice the clean lines and classic design and you can tell them the story behind your affordable Cartier tank homage. And maybe you are writing in comments now that for the same price today you can get a mechanical watch paired with a sapphire crystal at a, at least 100 meters water resistance. If you're that person, yes, you're right, but let's get real. You will never wear this watch underwater and 50 meters water resistance is enough for a watch that will usually be worn in an office, at an opera concert or at a casual situation where 99% of these situations will not evolve water. And yeah, the crystal. You can get a sapphire crystal for really cheap today, but do you really need one? At least if you're not planning to scratch your watch against a concrete wall every day, you certainly don't need a sapphire crystal on a dress watch. Ok, the leather strap that the watch comes with, it's a big no-no here. But you are buying the watch, not the strap, right? Usually the strap is a consumable item that helps your watch strap your wrist. You can always get a new strap for really cheap money that could last you forever. The quartz movement is a Japanese 5361 quartz caliber, the same movement that Casio uses in all his other square shaped classic models. A reliable movement that lasts for years with an every 3 year battery change. Moreover, this time they stepped up their own game with a stainless steel case that offers the same quality like a high-end watch case. Unlike their older models that used only chromed alloy case, not as resistant as a stainless steel case. But what about those 3 months? 
To be honest, it was love at first sight. The first time I saw it being released, I told myself that I really need to have one in my personal collection. The watch feels great on my 6.5 inch wrist. I could say that this case size and shape is made for such wrist size or even smaller. For a person with a wrist size over 7 inches, I think that it might look too small and usually 18mm straps are made for smaller wrists. But nobody judges you if you are a big guy and want to wear this tiny Casio. Muhammad Ali wore a tiny Cartier tank, so don't believe in stereotypes. Wear what you like and what you think fits you better. I wore this watch usually in my office days and casually pair with my casual outfits. Being a tiny watch with a slim case, I've never had a problem with it sliding under the cuffs of my shirt. One thing that started to bother me after some time was a second hand that certainly doesn't fit in this style. In the future, I am planning to remove it completely. I know that Casio followed the Tiffany Blue hype started by Rolex a few years ago, but I don't think it was really necessary in this case now. And as for my plan, I think the watch would look more authentic with only the midi and our hands, just like the initial classic Cartier tank. Another thing is the crown. I appreciate the fact that they managed somehow to match the crown with the case and choose a high polished crown, unlike other manufacturers that chose budget instead of design like Loris for, for example. Another watch that will be featured in a future video. To be honest, I would have preferred a different crown that could complement the classic design with a small cabochon. A detail that could have been a marketing strategy in promoting this watch better. The case is slim enough for a dress watch and I like the fact that they chose to make it out of stainless steel. It surely catches a lot of scratches that I like to call patina, but the watch will never look tarnished. Which is a good thing if you plan this watch to be your only watch. The dial looks great, but is not that easy to read, even though the hands reach the minute tracks, it created confusion on multiple times when I really needed to know precisely what time it was, even though I know that I can always rely on a quartz accuracy. The high polish of the hands sometimes could deceive your vision with a minute time. Here I would have preferred blued hands or just simply paint it black. This could have created a higher contrast and easier readability. But enough with the critique here. Is this watch worth buying? I can certainly tell you that yes, it is worth buying. It is not the highest specs watch, but it's a Casio and you know what Casio means in the world of watches. It is a brand that is worn even by the wealthiest people on earth. This watch offers something that Casio should have offered for years. It is certainly a homage, but it, it's a good one. A homage that celebrates the Cartier Tang in a unique way. Not copying it, but being inspired by it. If you can find one in your area, buy one and spend at least a week with it and write in the comments below after one month why you don't get it off your wrist. I know for sure that there are other better options for a watch like this on the market, but remember, it's a Casio. In the next video I'll talk about another Cartier tank alternative from Orient, a watch that might be really hard to find, but I think that it competes with this Casio. And again, I'm wondering why Orient and Casio didn't advertise these watches more. There are plenty of watch enthusiasts that are looking for a Cartier tank alternative for really cheap compared with a real deal. And if you really like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. Until the next time, 